I don't know. I just feel so disconnected. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Today, we're looking at the time that Amberlynn fell and hurt her ankle. Let's go. Hey guys, okay, so we need to talk. Kind of just wanted to talk to you about like how I've been feeling lately slash what re recently happened to me that kind of flipped my world upside down, I'm not gonna lie. So it was about three to four days ago and my girlfriend's like, let's go for a walk, let's go for a walk. Already alluding to the fact that this was all wifey's fault. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna go for a walk. I put on my socks and I was putting on my shoes. I wanted to vlog while walking and sometimes uh, vlogging while walking can be embarrassing because I am out of breath and I take pauses, uh, not pauses walking, but pauses in between words and stuff like that so I can catch my breath a little bit. Like my stamina has improved so much, but hi, I'm still in the 400s. Like I, I still have issues with breathing and I think I was starting to take mobility for granted again, you know? All those times my girlfriend urged me to go for walks. And I would say no. Maybe later. I regret every single time I said that. So I put on my shoes, I put on my socks, and since I wanted to vlog just a little bit by, while walking, like I just wanted to talk to you guys like about where my headspace is. So I told my girlfriend, you turn left, I turn right we'll meet in the middle because we do like this loop that we do so i have time to like just vlog by myself so i was vlogging well i'm just going for a walk okay first of all i'm not gonna say that she faked this but if it was a real vlog why would you say so i'm just going for a walk like i don't know that's pretty obvious what you're doing why would you feel the need to say that i don't know that just that whole part seemed like set up to me I don't know, my headspace is just not the greatest lately. And I wasn't paying attention because I was vlogging and my foot, some of my foot missed the step. I was walking on a sidewalk and half of my foot did not reach the sidewalk. Did that just sound so confusing or was it just me? She said, I missed the step. Then she said, I'm on the sidewalk and my foot didn't reach the sidewalk. What does any of that even mean? Can you just be honest here? You were walking down a flat surface and you fell. Let's just be real. Why are we trying to make up a whole step and missed and all this story? You fell walking on a flat surface. It happens to a lot of us. And I ended up falling. And it's like, I'm so confused. I was loving vlogging, but now I'm in a low. So it's like vlogging just, I don't know. I just feel so disconnected. Okay, let's all just take a moment. We're not laughing. We are not laughing at someone falling. We are definitely not laughing at Amberlynn falling. Everyone take a deep breath. Okay, let's continue. I immediately texted my girlfriend. I might have been a little dramatic, but I was like, oh my god, I think I broke my ankle. I hate my life. Like, I was super scared. And she was like, where are you, you know? A little dramatic? I mean, that's a big jump from I think I broke my ankle to I hate my life. And then immediately after she said, where are you? I actually um, FaceTimed her. It was a nine second thing. And I said, I told her where I was. I was, I didn't make it that far from my apartment. So I was like still super close to my apartment. And um, I just immediately told her where I was and I said, I'm about to stand up. And God, the noise, the fucking noise that my ankle made. I don't think I'll ever, ever, ever forget that noise. It was so scary. And I was by myself, and I just felt so scared. And, like, when I sat up from falling, I looked down at the ankle that made that noise, and my foot was just, like, dangling. 
Okay, I'm not going to say anything about how traumatic this was for her if she says that this was something super traumatic that she'll never forget. Okay, I'll give you that. But your ankle was not dangling. Come on. Your ankle was not dangling. I'm sorry. If your ankle was dangling, you would be screaming in pain. You would definitely not be able to get up and walk around on it. And it was just so scary. And immediately I felt pain. Like, it was immediate. Like, I had a little bit of, like, an adrenaline rush for a minute there. Um, when I was walking back into the apartment, I think I was just so shocked by everything. And um, so I was able to limp my way back into the apartment, and I was just terrified. Because I was like, something isn't right. Like, I, I broke my ankle one time when I was seven years old, and... This pain feels so much worse than that, which is so odd to me. It's very odd to me. In fact, so odd that I don't believe it. Um, I ended up going to the emergency room. The pain literally just got worse and worse and worse. You know, they did the x-rays, the this and that, and they could not find anything broken. So that was a that's a good thing because, you know, broken bones can be very, very, like, hard to heal. But I have multiple torn ligaments. And that's scary for someone my size. They were going to give me crutches. Too big to use them. They were going to give me this big black boot that I was going to have to wear. And that didn't even fit because of my lymphedema. And it's just like... The pain just kept getting worse and worse. I was at the emergency room for a few hours and by the time it was time for me to leave like I could not walk on it and as someone who's you know in the 400 that's terrifying I'm having to step on my foot that has several torn ligaments in my ankle and it is just oh, oh my god it's traumatizing they had to push me in a wheelchair Okay, again, I'm not trying to make light of any trauma, but like the falling and the sound was traumatic. Now the riding in a wheelchair was also traumatic. Like, girl, maybe you're using that word a little too liberally. We were like way far back though. I don't know like if it's because of COVID or something, but where we were was like in the garage. Like they had several rooms set up and I don't know. It was just like, let me guess, traumatic. I don't know. The doctor was so amazing though. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a doctor in an emergency room so freaking awesome. Because I was like honestly traumatized. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Um, so it's been like three or four days and I like can't move. The first day, like waking up after it happened because it happened at nighttime. You know, I said I wasn't going to judge her and her saying how traumatic it was, but it really hurts your case, Amberlynn, when you consciously turn the camera on just so you can film yourself crying. Like, was that really necessary? Waking up the next morning, I was so scared to get out of bed. And obviously, I have to get up. I have to go to the bathroom. That's the only thing I'm able to do. It takes me about 30 seconds per step it's it's so bad it's so painful it is easily this is easily this is mentally the most exhausting and painful and hardest thing i've ever had to do mentally okay i know we're looking back at this like it's already happened a long time ago but why couldn't she just bring in a computer chair like something with wheels sit down wifey could push her or she could kind of scoot herself to the bathroom is this really the toughest thing you've ever gone through mentally amberlynn because i've heard you talk about your childhood before and i don't know this just doesn't seem like that bad compared to what you've told us people tear their ligaments all the time this isn't because I'm fat. This isn't or anything like that. I simply am a person who wasn't paying attention while walking. It's that simple. Just because I'm healing like a normal person by resting in bed, you know, ice, I have an ace bandage, like the whole nine yards, that this is 
completely backtracking all of the progress I have made when it comes to my mobility and everything like that. So currently I'm just like, I cry a lot. Hey guys, it's officially been six days since I tore ligaments in my ankle. Tomorrow will be a week. Um, it takes weeks to heal, which is unfortunate. Has this injury given you more motivation to lose the weight? It has made me realize more than anything that people my size, like you're screwed if something like this happens because they don't have casts that are gonna fit someone with my type of lymphedema. You know, you don't have the body strength to use crutches. You know, this whole thing kind of strikes me as odd. I mean, she had just had a hysterectomy not too long before this whole ankle situation. So you would have thought she would have known then how difficult it is to get around when you're trying to heal from something, especially something as serious as hysterectomy surgery. But I don't know, let's keep going. Um, This has completely made it's kind of in a way it feels like a version of what could be said as a rock bottom i'm just finding that my rational side which is amberlynn you have reached a point where it's like okay if cancer wasn't it is this it like are you gonna lose the weight quicker now like i've lost 100 pounds in a year so we need to like celebrate that but I just feel like we're kind of not we're kind of skipping over the fact that I have lost a large chunk of weight wait 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 hang on how did she go from saying this was her rock bottom and how this whole situation should wake her up and make her realize she needs to lose weight to all of a sudden in the same breath being like wait wait what no, actually, you guys need to be cheering me on and tell me what a great job I've done for losing 100 pounds. That's so funny how she just flipped it like that. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today is day nine of this happening. I'm sorry that there's like no vlogs and stuff. Like, that's definitely <laughs> understandable, I hope, because your girl can't walk correctly. I mean, I can walk and all that. Um, people are asking like, can you walk at all? Yes, but when what I'm assuming is a high ankle sprain based on the fact that my leg is now hurting a little bit, like the pain is radiating up to my leg. Oh, by the way, I did talk to my primary care doctor and she said that, you know, everything I'm experiencing and what I'm doing is perfect and what I'm experiencing is normal for a high ankle sprain which means I tore the ligaments that are more higher, like above the ankle, which is harder to heal. She said that what I'm doing is perfect, but if she, if I notice that in like three more weeks, like there's no improvement, that I need to take more further steps um, and see more specialists and stuff like that. Okay, so she sprained her ankle, right? Isn't that what she just said? A high ankle sprain. You sprained your ankle. You can talk about the pain radiating. You could talk about the torn ligaments, but you sprained your ankle. It's not that serious. Um, I just do not believe that my weight plays a role in the actual injury. I was vlogging, I was walking, and I stepped off of the curb. Literally it. That is one of the most common ways Google it, do research, talk to your doctor, do anything you need to, but that is one of the most common ways that people tear ligaments in their ankle is stepping off of curbs. <laughs> and I did it without acknowledging that I was doing it because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, remember what she just said. She said she did it stepping off of a curb because she's going to show us in a little bit the exact place where she got the injury and it doesn't look anything like a curb. Um... So no, I do not blame my weight for the injury, but I blame my weight and I will be blaming my weight for the prolonged healing process. I just hate that like my weight is brought up in every sort of situation. It just becomes really frustrating because it's like, I'm more than my weight. I am a human being. And I just feel like when people, a lot of you, not all of you, um, but I feel like a lot of you just look at me as a fat, morbidly obese, lazy ass bitch. Like that's how I feel. Okay, but does it really matter if your weight caused the injury? You just said that it's making the healing more difficult. I mean, either way you look at it, it's not good. Tomorrow will be two weeks since I fell. 
And I think a lot of you are like, why are you talking about this? You like seem like you're milking it. I'm just trying to share my experience of someone who is 500 pounds breaking their ligaments. Just imagine walking, I don't know why I said breaking my ligaments, I'm sorry, tearing my ligaments. Just imagine walking as a skinny person on torn ligaments, that shit hurts. Now imagine adding a 500 pound brick on top of that. So a minute ago, she's like, why are you guys bringing up my weight? It's got nothing to do with this. And now she's like, can't you guys see how hard this is on me because of my weight? Pick a struggle, girl. It is a whole other level of pain that I just, I don't know. It has changed my life. Um, in the last two weeks, I have fought so hard to not be bedridden or bed bound. Obviously you guys don't see my day to day life in the sense of every single waking moment, but I use my bed for sleeping and I use my bed for the making love aspect of my relationship. I don't sit on my bed. I don't do that. I'm up. I'm cleaning. I am walking. I'm taking Twinkie out. I'm doing things with my girlfriend. I'm slow dancing in the kitchen. I'm cooking. Like, this isn't, this isn't the vibe. Like, this was the vibe in 2019, but the, this ain't the vibe now. But I do want to say one more thing because this is just, it's become a lot. Here's the photo of where I fell. In this circle, there is like a little there is a hole, a gap, if you will, in between the grass and the sidewalk where I fell. Like I said earlier, that is not a curb. I don't know why she called it a curb. It's definitely not. That is a sidewalk. Also, I will give her a gap. Yes, that is a little bit of a gap. Again, I don't know why she said it was a hole. That's not a hole, okay? You fell. You fell going down a straight flat sidewalk. Why is she trying to make this into something that it's not? Now I'm going to show you this clip of my shoe from when I was in the hospital. This is the shoe that went inside of that hole. You can see the dirt where literally the tip of my foot went into it and it made my ankle twist. I don't know how else to explain this to you guys. It could have happened to anybody. It had nothing to do with my weight. I'm just getting really freaking tired of it. Like, just imagine you're walking, you're vlogging, not paying attention, and all of a sudden your foot goes half off the sidewalk inside of a hole and partially into a grass section. It ain't cute. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be sweet. You're going to fall and hurt yourself. How my ankle twisted gave me messed up ligaments. It is what it is. And I actually am never going to talk about this again. We're just never speaking about my ankle ever again. Because there's a side of people who are like, this happened to you because you're fat and because you're big. It wouldn't have happened to anybody else. But then there's a whole other side who's like, you barely hurt yourself. You're just doing this so you can sit in bed and have your girlfriend caretake over you i'm done i'm done so that's that uh spoiler alert she was not done hey guys welcome to a new video today's day 12 of this nonsense so on tuesday it'll be two weeks uh, um i've had people ask like is anywhere else hurt besides your ankle and now your leg is hurting my toes hurt obviously um i actually it is the right ankle, but I landed on my left leg, like my shin area. There's a huge bruise. It's painful slash numb. I'm sorry, what? It's painful slash numb. How exactly does that work? So yeah, the bruise is officially turned yellow though. So that is healing. Um, it still hurts a little bit. At first, like day one, day two, partially day three it burned so bad like it was the weirdest sensation but um now it just like kind of hurts and stuff so that is honestly the only places that I got hurt because like I just like fell I didn't like slide there was no like blood or like skid marks or anything like that I was actually wearing tennis shoes and my tennis shoes make me I want to say about an 
inch and inch, inch and a half taller than I am because it's like a memory foam and I'm personally not used to wearing tennis shoes you guys know that I'm a flats type of gal and I was wearing tennis shoes because hi wear tennis shoes if you're exercising so I think the mixture of that and like the shoes are about like a half size too big for me because as I've lost weight my feet have shrunk I don't know if you guys know that but your feet like literally shrink which is so crazy to me, like when you lose weight. So uh, my shoes, I feel like played a big role in the severity because it was such like an easy roll of the ankle. But yeah, anyways, I feel like I've rambled way too much about this. Are you telling me we sat through that whole story and only at the end did we find out that the whole cause of the injury is that she wore the wrong shoes? Well, that was a plot twist I didn't see coming. I hope you guys had fun though. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so.